Hello, it's Armored Chocobo, it's time to play another game. An SNES game this time. You probably already know what it is, some of you. But it's a lesser known SNES game that belongs to a more greater known SNES game. It's a spin-off of the Ghouls and Ghosts series. It belongs to a series called Gargoyle's Quest. It's about that guy. Flying along in Mode 7 land. His name is Firebrand, he used to be an enemy in the Ghouls and Ghosts edition. He's looking for these things. Hell Incorporated is looking for upper management, and the only way to get there is to find these crests of power, because the employees only respect someone that has power. And you know what? That is definitely an incentive package. Check him out. He's upper management. Yeah, he gets to fly luxury class and everything. But everybody wants to position. Everybody's fighting and dying over these crests. And the demon world was thrown into chaos. But Firebrand doesn't care. He was just flying around, minding his own business. Or maybe he had other plans. And his plan came to fruition. The red demon, known as Firebrand, got a hold of five of the crests. But he wanted those incentives so bad. He wanted to look like that guy. He wanted to look like his rival, Phalanx. He wanted to fly around in Mode 7 land. And then the dragon came out. And he was scary. Crazy scary. And he's coming to get ya! With really slow intro text. The demon dragon was the current CEO of the time, and he had to be downsized. The only way demons and hell incorporated can downsize by going back to a flight sequence. Okay, we get it, he flies. Oh, hey. I guess he's flying with Phalanx. After a long legal battle with the CEO, it's time for a vacation. Yeah, he got beat up. The lawyers and Hill Incorporated chew you up in more ways than one. But he made it. Upper management is his even though he's a little bit worse for wear. It's time for a vacation. How about, um, Rio? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hey, what's he doing? Maybe he's gonna congratulate me. That's not a congratulations! Ah! Firebrand just got downsized. Aw oh, man, he just got that job. He lost all of his incentives, and his HMO package. Now who's going to get a hold of them? Yeah, that jerk. Phalanx. He just backshot Firebrand. And he took all the stuff. What's going to happen to Firebrand now? I mean, he's the protagonist. He can't die in the prologue. That's stupid. Oh, what are you going to do with the power of the crests? Make a really, really good hot pocket? No. It's the cliche bad guy thing. He wants to take over the world. Yeah, that's great. You are so original. You know, if you want to be part of upper management, you've got to think outside the box. Or around the box. You have to be somewhere in the area of a box. It's not a box. It's a whole bunch of crests. You're doing it wrong! And, uh, for some reason, Sephiroth just supernova everything. Well, that was the shortest game ever. Yeah, we didn't even get to do anything. Alright, game over. Thanks for playing, and I hope I see you the next time. Oh, wait. Wait, never mind. We're still going. Is there gonna be a title soon? Or are we just gonna die to supernova? Okay, here, here it comes. Here comes the title. Any moment now. Okay, there's fire, I guess. It's the Super Fireo Brothers Super Show! Anybody? Anybody want to step up and present the title? How about you? You want to present the title to us? We're dying here! Get this intro over with! Yeah, that's very nice. You just flashed us. Burn that title faster, damn it! There we go, it's Demon's Crest! 
Rated for the SNES, the last entry of the Gargoyles Quest series. By Capcom. Back when Capcom was doing things that weren't Mega Man related. So let's get started, shall we? Continue is just a password feature. It lets you take up where you left off, all your powers and all your stuff. But since we're starting a new game, let's just start it. Shortly after his termination, he woke up back where he slayed the dragon. Oh, hi, it's the former CEO. Um, how are you doing today? You know what, I don't need a zombie dragon right now. I've had a pretty rough day, and that's the last thing I need. He's oh, it had to be a zombie dragon. Alright, just run for it. Firebrand can't do much. He can shoot a single fireball until the shot limit kicks in. And he can fly for infinite amounts of time. But he can't change his altitude. Well, we're gonna gotta fight the dragon again! Great! Maybe it was harder the first time he fought him. All we do is just jump over his ground fire and hit him in the face. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, that's what happens when you don't let him ground fire. Yes, he does that. He'll just spit a fireball. Yeah, you're out of it. Give up, old man. You've already been downsized. Take your termination and your pension package and just go. And you too, Firebrand. What are you going to do? You're unemployed now. What we're going to do is fight this dragon a third time. Give it a rest already! Ah, he's disgruntled. Disgruntled CEO! Take him out. Take him down. Alright, is he dead now? I'm pretty sure he's dead. I don't think anybody can survive without their head for too long. Oh, look! Life extension. First of many. If we're going for the best ending, we need all of these. It's a good thing I picked it up. Here we go. Now it's time. Firebrand had to let out some anger by smashing statues. These are coins. This is the unemployment pay. And this is our power screen. We have nothing but a few bit of money and one-fifth of Firebrand's real power. And there's KKK ghosts. The headbutt, we can smash things in the background. Like that gargoyle statue. Take that. Tasteful decor. More tasteful decor. Destroy it. Destroy it all. Firebrand has a Kefka issue. Look at all this money. I guess it ain't too bad being unemployed. Until it runs out. And also the KKK come after you. Well, seriously, what else are you going to call them? What I just picked up is a spell vellum. You could put magic spells in there. There's only one spell I want. I mean, if you guys want to mess around with the game, get it yourself, and you buy different spells. I'm going to fill all the vellums with my favorite spell. Who's ready for a boss? First boss of the game. It's this guy. Hey, wake up. Seriously. I gotta do everything. This guy was in lower management, and he got terminated. So I guess we're gonna have to fight now. That's what we do in the unemployment line. We have fist fights with fire. Fire fights. We're the best firefighters around. Actually, Firebrand did get a job back with Hell Incorporated. He's the gopher. Yeah, he gets paid under the table to get coffee and, you know, the cigarettes and donuts, whatever the people need. But he's not an official employee now. Neither is this guy. You have failed in your unemployed duties. That is my rebuttal, good sir. That is my head buttle. Oh, look! Or life. Excellent. That's the end of the first stage. As you can tell, this game is like a platformer with RPG elements and a little bit of Metroid mixed in. A little bit of Ghosts and Goblins by the level designs and such. Even though there is no armor, they'll make you naked. Yeah, getting hit won't get you naked. It'll just throw you backwards, like Castlevania physics. These platforms I could just stand on without any kind of reprisal. 
Falling off the platforms, however, and getting hit with zombie axes? Not a good thing. Yes, I can fly forever, but sometimes it's better not to fly. And also... You've seen it before, he could grip the walls. Like Mega Man X. Capcom just had to do that. And too much happens on the screen at once. Usual emulator slowdown! We got everything! Down here, we could get a potion urn. You could put potions in that, obviously. Right now it just contains air. The ability of air is um, taking up space. That air. It gets around, doesn't it? It's everywhere! Yes, I cannot grapple with my face. Yes, you cannot grip with your face, but you can get some we really weird grasps on the walls. Come on. The lifts don't even cooperate in this game. Unfortunately, Firebrand cannot change his altitude. Peak of his jump. That's how high he could fly right now. So this level, a little bit annoying. But we're past it. We're gonna have to come back here later. There's a wall we can break. But we don't have the abilities to break it just yet. Time for the first boss. First official boss. This guy had a corner office. I didn't like him. He was a jerk. He thought he was all that. Now he's gonna mock me. Maybe he'll mention his name. If he doesn't, I will. He is Arma. He's from accounting. Arma from accounting. And also, he's the uh, co-head of the Executioner's Division. Not much about Arma. Sometimes he'll dive, sometimes he'll just run into us because I'm bad at this. And he has his own little fire breath. Hey! Stop that! We're gonna have a debate. A fire debate. I'm pretty good at those. Fire comes out of my mouth every time I open it. Might as well use it for fire debates. Yeah, that's his fireball. Yeah, you missed. Come on. You're gonna die sooner or later. Now, this guy is resilient. There we go. Yeah, you're fired. In more ways than one. You are now slightly red. <laughs> We're gonna call you a pink guy from now on, and you're gonna be embarrassed around the office, and everybody's gonna laugh at you and make fun of you. <laughs> hey, he dropped one of the crests. We got promoted to intern. We're not officially a member of the company yet, but we're learning. We get to pay a little bit more than a gopher does. At least we get a check now. We can't fly with the ground gargoyle ability, but we do have a lot of strength and we can break things. That was level one. Now we have a Final Fantasy VI looking flight area made of mode seven. Just fly around this map. You can see all the levels from here. All the hidden stuff. There's shops. There's all this good stuff. Some of the things ain't revealed to us yet. If we hit... Yeah, that is the swoop button. This is how we enter new areas. I'm trying to find the map button. There we go. Yes, this will show you the next areas. Stage 1, 2, 3, and 4. There's other areas that haven't revealed to us yet. So next time, on Demon's Crest, we're gonna go and sweep into this town. Yeah, I bet they'll be glad to see me. Next time, the town and beyond. Good night, folks.